having already scaled all-time highs. Shipping costs hit another record high this week as the fast spread of the Delta virus variant across several countries has added to the upward price pressure by slowing global container turnaround rates. Last week, devastating floods ravaged China's southern coast, which also contributed to the worsening of the crisis that is affecting the world's most important method for moving everything from appliances and furniture to car parts and electronics. These factors have turned global container shipping into a highly disrupted, undersupplied seller's market in which the shipping companies can charge four to ten times the normal price to move cargoes, as explained by Philip Damas, managing director at maritime consultancy firm Drury. We have not seen this in shipping for more than 30 years, he added, revealing that he expects the extreme rates to last until Chinese New Year in 2022. Already, rates hikes have been just mind-blowing. The spot price per container on the China-U.S. East Coast route, one of the world's busiest container lanes, has skyrocketed over 500% from a year ago to $20,804 this week. And that's according to freight tracking firm Freitas. As a comparison, about two weeks ago on July 27, prices were just under $11,000. Now in some places of the U.S. West Coast, prices are only a little below $30,000. In an interview with Reuters, Ding Li, president of China's Port Association, said that the spike followed an uptick in virus cases in other countries, which has slowed turnover at some major foreign ports to about seven to eight days. According to Reuters, the soaring container prices have resulted in higher charter rates for container vessels, which pushed shipping firms to prioritize service on their most lucrative routes. Ships can only be profitably operated in the trades where freight rates are higher, and that is why capacity is shifting mostly to the U.S., outlined Tan Hua Ju executive consultant at researcher consultancy Alpha Liner. Now, the sharp rate increase is a reflection of a series of disruptions that started to happen ever since the health crisis pushed the global economy to the brink in early 2020 and sparked huge changes to the flows of goods and healthcare equipment around the globe. Every time you think you've come to an equilibrium, something happens that allows shipping lines to increase the price, highlighted Jason Chang, director at Ocean Shipping Consultants, adding that the ever-given accident in the Suez Canal in March had played a major role in enabling firms to hike rates. There are new orders for shipping capacity, equal to almost 20% of existing capacity, but they'll only come online in 2023, so we will not see any serious increase in supply for two years, Chang said. Many industry experts argue that expectations that the crisis will be resolved by the Chinese New Year are overly optimistic. When new virus cases were detected at Yantian Port in late May, that key export center halted its operations by 70% for most of June. Similar disruptions are likely to occur in the coming weeks, while shipyards might soon see their delivery schedules come under extra pressure if any stricter lockdown measures are put in place. With the latest weekly update of container shipping rates showing that there's no drop in sight for prices, the Delta variant is a new threat that can send already sky-high prices into orbit. Right now, most Chinese ports are now requiring all crew to be tested, with vessels forced to remain at anchor until negative results are confirmed, and requiring ships to remain in isolation for 14 to 28 days if they are coming from India or changed crew within less than 14 days of arriving. In turn, that will be translated into further delays and even higher price increases. And according to Splash, global shipping should start to make contingency plans in case China, the world's most important nation for shipping movements, becomes another epicenter of virus outbreaks. 
In just two weeks, the Delta variant has brought the country's virus defenses down, reaching almost half of China's 32 provinces, even though it has one of the strictest virus control measures in the world. Despite recording lower numbers of infections as compared to virus resurgences elsewhere, the far spread signals that the variant is moving quickly with many millions of Chinese now in lockdown. Meanwhile, according to a report from Braemar ACM released this week, for freight markets, the restrictions mean there will be more delays at ports as authorities screen crews of incoming vessels, and this is a hit to China's oil demand if widespread lockdowns are imposed. As long as lockdowns remain in China, the container market seems most vulnerable if we see more severe disruptions to manufactured product supply chains, pointed out Playman Natskov, a senior trade expert at Vessels Value. On the potential tanker ramifications, Natskov noted that an immediate impact of a lockdown in China is reduced population mobility which would have a direct impact on demand for transportation fuels, potentially impacting negatively the tanker market. On the foreseeable consequences for the container sector, Alan Murphy, CEO of Danish consultancy Sea Intelligence, is afraid of a repeat of what happened in February 2020, when China first went into lockdown and carriers responded with a wave of blank sailings. Assuming that a strict China lockdown would lead to a scenario as in February 2020, we would expect a drop in production of 15 to 20 percent for about a month, Murphy commented. Although some could argue that these numbers do not seem too detrimental, after all, this drop happens in every normal Chinese New Year. What we will see in 2021 will definitely not be normal. Cargo owners already stressed beyond sanity from devastatingly high freight rates and absurd surcharges, and with no way to secure neither equipment nor space, would suddenly see their procurement costs skyrocket, in addition to their back-breaking logistics costs, Murphy suggested, saying that Chinese ports might not be able to run at full capacity for months, just like Antian earlier this summer. The head of the consultancy firm Shipping Strategy recently warned that if those lockdowns include coastal regions, key ports and logistics centers, then globalized supply chains will become chaotic. At this point, chaos has already become a constant factor in the U.S. supply chains and the aggravation of the shipping crisis is remarkably burdening the economy. Recent reports show that shipping a container of hazardous chemicals from Shanghai to Chicago previously cost about $6,600. Now, in recent days, John Logue, the Royal Group chief executive, revealed that he pays as much as $29,000, and that's if he is lucky enough to find much sought-after cargo vessel space plying the Pacific trade routes. The problems Logue is facing on the ocean are mirrored on land, where Royal Group shipping containers frequently get stuck in rail yard log jams that often result in costly and unpredictable storage charges. Earlier in July, BNSF, one of the nation's largest railroads, hiked its fees in Los Angeles and Chicago, adding to Logue's headaches. The freight troubles faced by the Royal Group, which comprise both existing operations and efforts to increase manufacturing in the United States, illustrate the market power of a handful of shipping companies and railroads that transport goods from distant factories to our American homes. We're at their mercy, Logue stressed. Sometimes we just throw up our hands. It's lunacy. Imports of products, including tires, food, and water purification chemicals, are being hard hit, said Carl Benzel, the commissioner of the Federal Maritime Commission. I am extremely concerned now about the economic impact caused by the current situation. This could be the first time the public sees the impact of maritime shipping disruption since World War II, he said. 
American consumers are currently feeling the impact of stressed supply lines, but the worst is yet to come. Several U.S. companies are in deep distress due to transportation problems. At the end of July, Lazy Boy underscored that shipping container issues were responsible for delivery delays and shortages of electrical components for some of its more expensive and profitable power recliners. Constellation Brands also came forward and said it was having major hardships in keeping retailers stocked with its Rafino and Kim Crawford wines. Clothing manufacturer Levi Strauss is trying to solve one of the worst backlogs with products trapped at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, California by shipping more goods by air and rerouting ocean cargoes to the East Coast. As explained by Hamid Singh, Levi Strauss's chief financial officer on a recent earnings call. A lot of people are talking about not being able to get containers, not being able to get onto a ship, Singh said. So, this is a big challenge for the industry. Unfortunately, no one in the industry expects any kind of relief until well into 2022, maybe even into the second quarter of 2022, before things can stabilize and companies can recover from this backlog. Not in the meantime, supply chain issues and shipping prices continue to weigh on inflation forecasts and rates. In June, the U.S. Consumer Price Index marked the largest one-month change since June 2008. Over the past year, the index has climbed by 5.4%, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. All of these factors are a clear sign that as opposed to what the Federal Reserve persistently affirms, inflationary pressures are not at all transitory. Even Deutsche Bank analysts recently said that due to the current policies, higher prices will persist for much longer than people expect, saying, we worry that inflation will make a comeback, adding that it's a scary thought that just as inflation is being deprioritized, fiscal and monetary policy is being coordinated in ways the world has never seen. With so many strains in global trade, disrupted supply chains, surging shipping costs, and more notably the lack of effective policies to fight inflation, the price of products can only head in one direction, upwards. So, we should all brace for astronomical price increases in the coming months as the global shipping crisis continues to go from bad to worse.